Hello. We're here today in the West Strygian Forest to give you a nature tour. This whole ecosystem was built on as primary succession after all volcanic eruption years ago. And the community is thriving. Some people think it was secondary succession, but since the uh, life forms here, they were entirely wiped out, it's not secondary succession. I'm seeing all these relationships in the population like commensalism. One good, one don't care. Mutualism. Both good. And parasitism. One good, one bad. Oh wow, take a look at that scavenger uh, eating trash. Hi, how are ya? Look at this predator-prey relationship. This primary consumer is being eaten by a secondary consumer. What's my dog doing? Here my bio just got this new angiosperm here. But you know what I love a lot more than flowering angiosperm? Ovary protected giant gymnosperm, like this apple here. Uh, assisted from exoskeletal pollinators, which are just bees if you're a normal person. And check this crap out. There's some phototropism from this species, which are plant adaptations. Look, it's a rock. Abiotic factor. And well, look at this, there is lichen, fungus, and moss growing on this rock. And come on, come on, check it out. Over here we've got this is this large plant. And it has cryptic coloration all over it, also known as camouflage. Just kidding, you can't see it, because the cryptic coloration is so good. And look at this worm. It's a freaking decomposer, okay? Wow. Okay, it breaks down dead organisms. Elixu flea deck appetito. Plants are a form of autotroph, which means they, uh, they are considered producers. Yeah. Uh, some plants, such as English ivy, uh, are considered invasive species, which are brought in by humans from other ecosystems. Now check out this bird here. It's a keystone species because it provides food to this mammal <laughs> and reptile. Yes. These two species depend on the bird to survive. <laughs> this is an example of what happens when a human causes disturbance. Boy. Now that the species is no longer there, a lot of others will need to clear out of the environment and find another way to survive. <laughs> that is indeed a big sad. Wow. Check out that human impact. The populations of birds from this area will leave and find a new place to call home, wherein they will become an invasive species with a greater fecundity and because of very few natural predators. This hypothetical situation, we could see that the birds who have migrated would um, result in a mimicry of the um, original species that lived there to avoid a predator-prey relationship between, you know, the birds who have migrated and the birds who actually live there. One last thing before you go. It's the law of 10%, so we're in a food chain. As uh, energy moves off the system to uh, higher levels, you, you only take 10% of the energy every time. So a lot of energy is lost. Cool. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Thanks for touring the West Virginia Rainforest with us. Yeah. Ta-ta for now. Bye. Goodbye. See you later. Hit